Unite's manifesto fulfills a commitment made at the union's meeting with the chief minister last month. It says it aims to turn back the tide of insecure work and casualisation in the labour market, listing an initial 15 points for change. Among these, the reintroduction of the 12-week qualifying period for parity within the agency workers' regulations, calling on the government to lead by example in providing parity for agency workers from day one of their engagement. Unite is insisting on compulsory reviews via an agency worker collective agreement and also an end to practices that allow agencies to exploit loopholes in the system, which enables them to undercut the wages of those directly employed as well as relocating workers to break the chain of accrual. The union also calls for the government to legislate against zero-hour contracts. In a letter to Fabian Picardo, Unite expressed disappointment at not being consulted prior to the announcement of the permanent employment of nearly 200 agency workers. Stuart Davis says, however, that while the news is overwhelmingly welcomed, the issue of insecure work blights the whole of the public sector as well as the private sector and not just the civil service. The union says rebalancing the local employment market away from the misuse of temporary contracts and replacing these with quality permanent ones is the key to developing a progressive Gibraltar. It calls for positive engagement and action by the government, adding it intends to write separately on the issue of apprenticeships for young people. This morning, those agency workers made permanent by the government signed their Gibraltar Development Corporation contracts. Although Unite has negotiating rights, it says it was not invited to participate. Nevertheless, the union says it went along and waited outside in order to offer assistance to those who needed help, recruiting new members as it did so.